spontaneous endothermic reaction. Attention! Barium hydroxide is toxic and causes severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes. Ammonia is toxic when inhaled, causes chemical burns on the skin, eyes and lungs and is very toxic to aquatic life. Barium chloride is very toxic. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For this experiment, a 50 ml beaker is placed on a piece of wood. A thermometer is hanging into the beaker which is held by a ring stand. Some water is put on the wood under the beaker. Next, 15 grams of barium hydroxide octahydrate are added to the beaker. On top of the barium hydroxide, 5.1 grams of ammonium chloride are added. Then the substances are mixed with a glass rod until the mixture liquefies. The thermometer is then held into the mixture. The temperature sinks down to minus 23 degrees C very fast. Following reaction takes place. The barium hydroxide reacts with the ammonium chloride to form barium chloride and ammonia gas. The barium chloride can be recycled and used for other synthesis and experiments. Instead of the ammonium chloride, 7.3 grams of ammonium thiocyanate or 7.7 grams of ammonium nitrate can also be used, which causes less toxic barium salts to form. The water under the beaker freezes, so the beaker sticks to the wood. A wet pH paper can be used to test for ammonia gas. The explanation for the drop of the temperature is a bit more complicated, so it will be discussed in the next video. This was the reaction of barium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.